so much better. So welcome back if you've been here yesterday and day before yesterday and follow our new series cocktails at home. But if you're new here, I just want to tell you that uh, we're making magnificent cocktails and they're actually pretty simple for those who uh, stuck at home, just like myself. Yep, social distancing. And today we're going to make another delicious cocktail. It's actually going to be with a scotch whiskey. Well, that's supposed to be with the Dewar's, but we don't have it. So which one do you guys like more, Dewar's or Glen? Glenfiddich. Glenfiddich. So let's take the highball glass and fill it up with ice. So fill it up all the way uh, to the top. And now we need one ounce and a half of Glenfiddich. <laughs> Next, we're gonna need half of uh, lemon juice. So it's actually supposed to be half ounce, and I don't know, I have this uh, Californian lemons, so they most likely pretty juicy. I'm just gonna measure it, but you guys can just uh, squeeze it right away. <laughs> yeah, it's red. Oh, perfect. Oops. So put lemon juice. <laughs> and also we'll need half ounce of uh, coconut syrup. So I'm gonna be using this real. It's a little bit thick that we're gonna stir it. So it should be just okay, but you can use any other brand. I just, I just really like this one. So I just uh, recommend you stir a little bit, just because you see it's kind of um, thick and it's already on the bottom. So this is perfect. Whoop. Put more ice. Okay, next uh, we need three ounces of uh, soda water and I'm gonna be using Q, just because it's the best in the world. So, fill it up. Yeah, this is good. And now stir it from bottom to top. Woo, look at the beautiful color. But let me know what kind of uh, high balls do you guys prefer? Really would love to know. So now, I know you probably didn't go to the store for a while and most likely don't have a fresh mint laying around. But just in case if you do, so take one sprig, yeah. Slap it a couple of times. Now also we'll need, um, yeah, one second. Of course, if you don't have fresh lime, uh, you can use lemon. <laughs> and then just uh, put them like this on the side. So it's just supposed to stick, stick out, make it all pretty. Because most likely you're making it for your girlfriend, for your wife, or maybe for your parents, or maybe just for yourself if you're, you know, <laughs> stuck at home and just want to try something delicious. Uh, yeah, let's use a straw and try it. Fuck me. Oh, this is so damn good. I personally do like uh, coconut flavor a lot and um, this is good, not too sweet. Shit, this, this is so good. I'm gonna try not to get uh, tipsy just because I need to still make one more cocktail. Mm. It's just, um, don't mix with anything uh, except soda because it will be too sweet. But right now, I think I think it's just perfect. But you guys let me know in the comments what other uh, variation you would make with this one because I definitely would love to hear sometimes you say, oh, just uh, like add a little bit of beer. No, we'll keep it like this. <laughs> We're not gonna add anything. So I'm just gonna drink a little bit. Sorry about that. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, make sure to do so because I put there a lot of really, really cool stories from behind the scenes. Yeah, boomerangs better. What? And if you guys want to catch up, please check out video from uh, day before yesterday, Jägermeister cold brew, and also yesterday we made quarantine sour. A, a pretty cool short videos. Oh, before I forget, I would really, really appreciate if you still uh, follow the second channel. Okay, hold my camera, and I will definitely see you guys tomorrow.